Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we discuss about the artificial neural network based base locking scheme for active filter. In our purpose, the base locking control scheme based on artificial neural network for active power filter. It is estimating the fundamental frequency for control the base locking. It given the better result compared to the existing method. The ANN is the good algorithm to determine the base information for the base locking. The base information and the frequency estimation are utilized to generate the base locking signal. This paper presents a base locking control scheme based on the artificial network for active power filter. Base locking is achieved by estimating the fundamental supply frequency and generating a base locking signal. The non-linear list wire base approach is modified to estimate the supply frequency to improve the accuracy of the frequency estimation. Well, the supply voltage contains harmonic that are not known yet. Pre-filtering stage is introduced. In that ABS application, the information of frequency is sufficient, but also the base information of supply voltage is Reduce to generate a unit template that is the base log proposal of the voltage. Therefore, an adaptive linear neural base scheme is to extract the base information of the supply voltage. The estimation of system frequency and base information are then utilized to generate the base log signal that achieves a perfect synchronization with the fundamental supply voltage. It is the Flow diagram for our first work. In this flow diagram, the three base current will be sent to the load and we get the signals from before the load and it will be go to the ANN controller. The ANN is the artificial neural network. It is the one of the neural network for classify the features for identify whether it is the normal or abnormal. In our process, we check the fundamental frequency of the output current from the load. If the fundamental frequency will be changed over desired level, then artificial neural network send one signal to the ABF. The ABF is the stunt controller and it will be generate the 3 bit voltage level by using the capacitor. The capacitor will be charging and discharging level based on the input. Now the fundamental frequency is will be reduced at a particular level, then the artificial neural network automatically control the stunt ABF. The stunt ABF gives the additional current or voltage into the primary circuit by using the some filter and that filter will be reduced the harmonic of the stunt generating current and it will be connected to the grid. Then the load will be get the cut frequency for control the load. Then artificial neural network will get the that current value from that load then it will be change the another signal for the fundamental frequency corrected in the stunt area, stunt ABS. Then stunt ABS will be stop for sending the current for the main circuit. So the fundamental frequency will be maintaining in that circuit. For that reason, the output will be getting the low harmonic and the best accurate result. Now we go to demo of our process. In our process, we use several blocks like circuit source and the RF filter and the voltage and current measurement port and different loads will be connected and the scope will be used for identify the output voltage and the stunt ABF will be used based on the controller under the artificial neural network circuit and then use the breaker for connect the stunt ABS output from the main circuit. In the main circuit the 3 base source and the RL and the VA measurement and load will be connected into seriously. Now the 3 base source is acting as a low source of grid. The 3 base source generates the 430 volt and 50 hertz frequency at 0 base angle. The 3 base AC source will be through, through the RL filter. The resistance will be reduced some amount of current from the AC source. And also the filter will be reduced the harmonics of AC source. Now that source will be 
to go to the VA measurement port. The VA measurement, it measures the voltage and the current for current input. That voltage and the current will be used to control the stunt ABS. Then it will be directly connected to the load. In the load side, there are two types of load will be connected. One will be the DC load and another will be the 3 base AC load. The DC load will be connected through the inverter. The inverter gets the six diodes for convert the AC input to DC input. And that inverter will be connected to the RL filter with breaker. The breaker will be chosen where the load will be connected to the main circuit. And then the RL filter reduces the harmonic for AC source. And that voltage and the current of will be measured from the three base voltage source and also the single base DC source. Now that measured voltage will be go to the scope. Now we mess that measured voltage will be sent into the stunt ABF. In the stunt ABF, the two capacitor will be used. The two capacitor will be acting as a charging and discharging purpose for stunt. And then the DC output will be because the capacitor will be indirect the DC output. The DC output will interconnected to the rectifier and then rectifier will be generate the 12 pulse based on the PE controller and also the artificial neural network and that after the rectifier the DC current will be converted to the AC voltage that AC voltage will be goes to the filter L filter and then it is interconnected to the main circuit and then the output of the voltage and the current will be go to the PA controller under the artificial neural network. The artificial neural network will be find the fundamental frequency of current output under the voltage and that will be generated on signal and it is sent through the PA controller. The PA controller and control the pulses for generating. The generated pulse controls to the, to the inverter so that the DC capacitor voltage will be controlled based on the artificial neural network and the PA controller with output of the 3 base AC from stunt and then the stunt will be connected to the through the breaker with the main circuit if the main circuit will not be generate the particular amount of frequency then the stunt ABF automatically connected to through the breaker for connect the, for connect the main circuit then the main circuit built up the fundamental frequency at the fundamental frequency and then the stunt ABF will be stop that generating current for to, through the main circuit so that reason the fundamental frequency of the output will be maintained now the output will be source the supply voltage the supply voltage will be the 430 volt and the inverter voltage it is a 3 base AC voltage and it is 200 volts amplitude and the DC voltage will be maintained at the 1000 voltage level and the load voltage will be the 230 and the load current will be the 50 amps and both will be the 3 base and the supply current will be the 10 amps and it will be 3 base current and the load current will be the 0 by 2 amps and all of it is 3 base and the DC voltage will be the DC. the DC voltage will be measured in the stunt ABF now in our process source our output harmonic will be reduced by using the artificial neural network and stunt ABF it is used to reduce the harmonic level in the grid for maintain the power of the tank.